Okay, here's a quick tour through Kelly's Rock Shop. I'm at the front door here, looking at the specimens in the front window. There's a lot of large cabinet specimens from around the world, a few mining artifacts. And the first thing you see is this little shelving unit full of obelisks and geodes and large cabinet specimens. I'm going to flip around to the other side here and whoop, there's more of all the same. Lots of big pieces. It's a little dark over here right now. During the day we have sunlight coming in here. We're closed right now. I tried to do this video several times today and customers kept coming in. There's a shelving unit full of just agates. And it's right next to one of minerals or uh, quartz specimens from around the world. A few more mining artifacts. Posters and stuff on the wall. Of course, our semi-famous sign. And then we step into the main room here. And off on our left is uh, my son's little tribute to the uh, Jackson Mine, which is the first iron mine in the Upper Peninsula. We have an old antique uh, mineral, mineral detect metal detector. In the 1950s or so, it a, a, goes down about 30 feet. This whole section here is all mineral specimens from Michigan. Some nice pieces here and there. We have a lot of iron mineral specimens because we kind of specialize in the iron, like Michigan's iron country. I think we might be the only store that does that. Got a few empty shelves, but don't worry, we've got the rocks to fill them up. We just haven't gotten there yet. A lot of nice copper pieces, a lot of, and there's a nice big copper silver half breed. Big float copper there on the bottom. And next to that we have a section, uh, this first section shelving unit here is all Wisconsin specimens. Again, we have a little bit of empty space, but don't worry, we have the stuff to fill that up. And then the rest of this is all east of the Mississippi. Some fossils from Illinois, some uh, New Jersey zeolites, lots of good stuff there. This shelving unit is all west of the Mississippi, Arizona, New Mexico, California. And this yellow shelving unit is Canada on the, uh, at the top and Mexico on the bottom. Huh? I did that backwards. We have a nice revolving case full of... Uh, more expensive specimens and stuff that's fragile and we don't want the kids messing with. And that way the kids can come in the shop and touch anything they want. Here's another unit full of specimens from around the world. And always more mining artifacts on the top. We have a wall full of cutting rough. A few empty spaces, but again, don't worry, we do have the stuff to fill that up. We just haven't gotten there yet. We even have another shelving unit to put in that empty spot. We just, again, haven't got, haven't got it moved over here yet. And then in this table right down the center, we have a lot of specimens from Mexico and South and Central America. A lot of nice stuff here. Some nice geodes here at the end. And a couple of cases of gemstones. Lot of, there's some gem rough, uh, some cabochons I've cut, a bunch of faceted stones, some miniatures that are inexpensive, three dollars each or four for ten dollars, some other more, I don't want to say cheaper, but inexpensive specimens, say around five dollars, petrified wood, halite, azurite, malachite, some fossils, Moroccan hematites, Quartz, Chrysocolla, some $5 specimens. And then my favorite part of the store, here's a whole shelf full of miniatures and micros. I love these little things and perky boxes. And they're all in alphabetical order from Adamite all the way through the alphabet till we get right down to Wolfenite. I've been trying to get my dog to say Wolfenite. He can only get the first syllable though, so I got my hopes up that he's gonna eventually get it all. 
Right here we have a lot of $5 spe necklaces, just only $5. A lot of these are simple wire wraps that I did. There's some gemstone cubes, fluoride octahedrons, and arrowheads of different types. Some beaded necklaces, marbles, beach glass, tumbled stones, fossil shark teeth, quartz crystals, and some hematite beaded necklaces. And then we're going to go over here. Here's a case full of uh, the stuff that I make, my silver jewelry. And there's some rings that are made from local gemstones. I'm going to go down here and there's some sterling silver beaded necklaces that my daughter made. And then we're going to get into some pendants there. Rings, bunches, lots of rings. More pendants. And more rings. Lots and lots of rings. And you may have seen that one rock in there. And that is a large silver boulder that was found by a 10 year old kid on the Antonagon River. It's an amazing thing. If I turn around, this is our cash register area. We have a lot of large cabinet specimens here and a case full of just amazing copper and silver crystal specimens from up here in the UP. A lot of really nice high dollar pieces. And I'm looking over here and the door is closed, but this is our library fluorescent room. And we do have a large selection of fluorescent minerals and a large selection of used books. And we like to, we not only sell the books, but we do have a little desk here in the corner. If you just want to come in and use them and do some research, you can feel free to. We'd love to have you do that. And these are all fluorescent minerals, long wave and short wave. And more and more books. So we'd love to have you here. We'd love to have you visit. Come on by sometime if you're in the area. And thanks. Bye-bye.